it's funny how life can change in a moment. Just ask the people who work at the Pearl in La Crosse. One minute they're making ice cream and candy and the next something they didn't see coming. News 19's Dave Soley has the story. It's the staff, it's the people that come in, the customers that come in. And there's something else. The atmosphere created in an old fashioned ice cream parlor. It was a different era. This was like a, a working museum. This is what was all across America at one time. And, and families came here and young people came here and people of all ages came to enjoy a treat. One week ago, that included a visit from President Biden. Something at the time that was a bit of a challenge for TJ to grasp. It was uh, in the moment. I, I guess I didn't realize it because everything was happening so fast. They had learned the night before about the visit and were told they could not tell anybody. They came in early the next morning to prepare. One girl, it was her first day, and when she got scanned by the Secret Service for weapons, <laughs> she wondered what kind of place this was. And at, the, at that point, she didn't know the president was coming. And then so I. She seemed so nervous, I said, okay, well, it, it's because President Biden is coming here for ice cream. And she looked shocked. And, and I said, well, it's nothing. Wait till you see who's coming tomorrow. <laughs> it's a great story that adds to the history of this place, a building that began as a hotel. Before TJ and his wife, Michelle, opened the Pearl in 1993, they traveled the Midwest looking for material to create an authentic, old-fashioned ice cream parlor. And this place was floor to the ceiling gutted. They accomplished their goal. Physically, the building was ready. But TJ learned an important lesson from his dad, Oscar. One February, um, my dad walked in and said, hey, the Pearl's closed. And, and he said, why? And I said, well, dad, it's, it's February. And it's, it's like, today the, the high is going to be 12. So, you know, we're not going to sell a lot of ice cream. He said, well, you can't make any money if you're not open. I said, why don't you give me a key? I'll open it up. Soon they began making their own ice cream and candy, something that served them well over the years, most recently allowing them to serve the president. A success story, the result of good customers, staff, and community. And then luck. And we've always had that. I don't know how you can count on it, but... We've, we've been lucky, and, and having the president show up for ice cream, that was luck, that was luck. It's certainly not an average Tuesday. An experience they hope you have when you stop by the Pearl, no matter the day of the week. In La Crosse, Dave Soley, WXOW News 19. Now the president ordered a scoop of cookies and cream and a scoop of strawberry on a sugar cone. And TJ says people often say, give me what the president had. And now you'll find Pearl ice cream somewhere other than the downtown parlor. For a limited time, you can find it on Air Force One because the president bought 20 pints for guests to enjoy.